Hello everybody, it's time for this segment of the video which we like to call Fun Facts. Time for the first fact of the day. Did you know that matter is composed of hundreds of small building blocks that we like to call an atom? And an atom is by the way a hundred times smaller than the width of a human hair. And an atom, by the way, the purest atom is what we'd like to call an element. By the way, elements can also be classified by its physical states. And these physical states, by the way, are what we call the states of matter. At room temperature, there exist three kinds of matter, which we call solid, liquid, and gas. These three are the common states of matter within the Earth. But did you know that there is also a fourth state of matter, which we call plasma? From what we learned, gas has no definite shape or volume. However, plasma is also somewhat similar to gas. But the difference is, a portion of its particles are ionized. When solid turns into liquid, it's called melting. When liquid turns into solid, it's called freezing. But however, when gas turns into plasma, it's what we call ionization. Time for a third fact. Did you know that matter also has two types of properties? Physical property and the chemical property. This means that matter can undergo both physical and chemical changes. In our previous lesson, we learned that matter has two properties, physical and chemical, which means they can undergo both physical and chemical changes. Now, first of all, physical change is wherein the matter or anything will only change physically, not chemically, meaning it will not change to the molec in its in its molecular state. For example, this piece of paper, we can rip it apart, but it won't change its mo molecular structure. As you can see, no matter how many times you rip it apart, paper will still be paper. Chemical change. This is a change wherein where matter undergoes change not only physically but also in its molecular state. We give as an example this paper. If we burn this paper, it will not it will not only change physically but also in its molecular state. It after after undergoing chemical change, it will it will no longer be paper but ash. Like this. Now, it's time for the final fact of the day! We now know that there are three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. And there is also a fourth state of matter, which we call plasma. In, the, in our Earth, there are three, the three states of matter exist. But beyond that, we should know that most part of this universe is composed of plasma. To conclude this video, I would like to give a summary of what we've learned so far. Fact number one. Matter is made up of tiny building blocks that are called atoms. Atoms are at least a hundred times smaller than the width of a human hair, and the purest type of atom is called an element. Elements can be classified based on its physical states, often referred to as the states of matter, which are solid, liquid, and gas. But from what we've learned, there is also a fourth state of matter, which we call plasma.
A gas is a state of matter that has no definite shape or volume. However, plasma is also a state of matter similar to gas in which a certain portion of the particles are ionized. We also remember that there are only 11 gases and 2 liquids in, the, in all of our elements and the rest of them are solids. When liquid changes into gas, it's called vaporization. When liquid changes to solid, it's called freezing. But when gas changes to plasma, it's called ionization. And for our final fact, liquids, solids, and gases are the most common states of matter on Earth. But we, we should also remember that for the most part of our universe, hot plasma exists. This concludes my video. Thank you for watching Fun Facts.